Hi, welcome back to C5 Basics. We're going to talk about blocks today and how to manage them a little bit better with the use of some tools on the dashboard. As you're aware, a Concrete 5 website is really a collection of blocks of different types, whether it's a video block, a content block, images, an auto navigation area, or even your website name. We can learn a little bit more about using blocks right from your Concrete 5 dashboard. You'll see on the dashboard that there's a window just for stacks and blocks. And in that window you'll find categories for stacks, for block and stack permissions, and for block types. Your stack area is really an area that, for lack of a better term, is a clipboard, but it's a very elaborate clipboard and you'll love using it. The stacks area is a collection of blocks that you can store in one spot that are going to be used in multiple areas across your website. Because they're all stored in one spot and sourced from this area, you can edit them once and all instances across the website are updated automatically. It's fast, it's easy, and it makes good sense. In addition, blocks can be accumulated. You can have several under one category. For instance, under the site name, I have a content block and an image logo. Both are available, both can be edited independently, and once they're edited and approved, it's updated site-wide. Adding blocks to a particular stack is just as easy as clicking Add Block and selecting what type you'd like to add to this particular stack. If you're to edit a particular block or add a block, you'll note that in order for that change to take effect, you'll now have to approve changes. Don't forget this step or the public won't see the edits that you've made. Another interesting point about stacks is that as you add them from the front side of your website, you'll have the option of adding the entire stack or selecting individual blocks whatever is most appropriate for the edit you're doing at that time. Block and stack permissions establish just that. You'll see that adding block or adding stacks currently is only permitted by administrators. That we can modify that should you need to bring in a helper either permanently or on a part-time basis. We'll select one of these categories and you'll see access is granted to administrators and we can also exclude users from having access. Let's add a helper to the administrator staff for working with stacks. I'll select add and from this drop down I'll select another group and at this time, I'm going to say members that are part of the editor group will now be able to install and view the stacks area. I can not only add them to that, but using this portion, I can restrict what days and what time that they are actually able to work on the site. Therefore, I've got total control of when editing is being done when it's not being done by me. Once it's saved, you can now see that the editor category is added to administrators as people that have access to adding stacks. Let's save that. The last category on your Stacks and Blocks window 
is block types. You'll like using this particular area. This is a list of every block currently available on your site. But it's so much more than that. It's not only a list, it gives us quite a bit of detail. If I were to select content, we have a description that the content block has a WYSIWYG editor that it is used 38 times currently on my website and on active pages 26 times. Another feature of this block type list is the ability to move blocks in an order so that it's sorted in what's most comfortable for you. Now I've used the AutoNav block, but quite honestly it doesn't need to be at the top of the list. I'm unlikely to use it too many more times throughout the site. So I can hover here, click, and drag to a lower spot on the list. I also find that I like using the image block frequently, and yet it's fairly well down the list. So let's move that upwards. It's as easy as that. A drag and drop process that now makes your access to frequently used blocks so much easier. Should you choose for any reason to put everything back in the stock order that it came in, you're still able to do that by just clicking the reset button. And it's just as easy as that. I hope you find this brief introduction to Stacks and Blocks helpful. Please go to the dashboard, try some of the things that we have just reviewed, and find out for yourself how helpful they really are. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Adrian, your Concrete 5 Arvix Web Hosting Liaison. If you have questions about today's topic, or would like to recommend any other, contact me at adrian.rick at arvix.com.